to another video so in today's video i'm actually going to show you guys how to install some lifters so pretty much <clears throat> I ordered uh, some GSC zero tick lifters because the ones that I have tick badly. So these are brand new. Um, pretty much before you guys install any of these lifters, what you guys have to do is bleed them because you see this one, how it's hard. You can't squish it down. Since this doesn't go down and you put these in there, once you start running your car, you're gonna go ahead and bend your valves. And we don't want that. They should be like this. That's how they should be. Nice and smooth. That's how you know they're ready to install. So when you start up your car, you don't have any problems, you know? But yeah, there you go. So they should compress all the way down. This one doesn't. Why? Cause it's stiff we gotta go ahead and bleed it so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to bleed this so you guys can go ahead and install them on your car okay so pretty much what you gotta do you get something that's pointy like this and pretty much you got a little ball that's in here you gotta insert this it's usually right in the center and you see it kind of squishes down already that's what we're looking for so when you squish that part down, you could actually go ahead and decompress the whole thing. And that's how you bleed your lifter. We, um, it's usually good if you put it upside down so that the oil that's in here comes out. You see the oil right there? So I already pretty much go, went ahead and um, did all of them. So they're all ready. So all these lifters are done. These are the GSC zero tick lifters. When we go ahead and remove the OEM ones, we're gonna go ahead and see the difference between both. This one has a big old oil squirter hole. Um, we're gonna go ahead and see the other ones when we go and remove them, I'll compare both. <coughs> and for you to go ahead and install these lifters, you are gonna have to go ahead and uh, redo your timing. Um, well, I mean, at least I would, just so you can make sure everything is done right. And I already went ahead and removed everything. So the reason why I am gonna replace them is because I'm actually gonna, I'm doing all my timing side right now. So this is the best opportunity to go ahead and take all this apart. I already removed my valve cover. On the valve cover, you have 14, uh, I believe it's 14 screws. You got three in the bottom. Let's see. You have three in the bottom, and then you have three in the top. So that's already six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. So you will go ahead and remove those 14 uh, screws and all you got to do is wiggle it a little bit and go ahead and remove the valve cover now what we got to do is go ahead and remove the cam caps so when you're going to go ahead and remove the cam caps you're actually going to start with three then you go to four then you go to two five one and then the last one right here so I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing for this one. Start at three. It actually has the numbers right here. E for exhaust, three. I for intake. I intake three and uh, exhaust three. It's probably gonna be kind of hard to see, but it's gonna be the same thing. Three, four, two, five, one, and then the last one. I actually already removed the screws that go here for the sensor. So I have one screw here and then have another screw right here in the back. I did already remove those. <clears throat> and we also got the HLA pressure regulator right here for the head, which I have right here. Which is this one. 
and we're actually gonna go ahead and install this as well since we already have it all taken apart and then after that hopefully we don't get any ticks no more ticking noise so we're gonna go ahead and put you guys on a quick time lapse and we're gonna go ahead and finish this out Okay, so these are the lifters that I had in the car. One of the big differences I found was a little hole right here. This one's obviously bigger than the other one. And the top is actually almost the same, but I believe these ones right here are the revised 3G lifters. Because um, they're usually, the hole ain't that big. I'm gonna see if I can find a picture of the original seven bolt lifters. So we can go ahead and compare them and um so yeah those are one of the big differences right here this little circle right here where it releases some of the oil looks a lot bigger and it's a little bit more down so i don't know maybe that helps it flow more oil in and out compared to this one all right so i already removed the cam i removed the cam caps these are the rocker arms and it does have a little hole on the inside so when i took this one out it was facing up like this with that little hole so we're gonna go ahead and put them up in the same spot the little hole like that the little hole facing up so i'm gonna go ahead and put you guys in a quick time lapse i'm just gonna go ahead and remove all these put the new ones in and that's it i'm gonna show you how we lose control baby <laughs> watch this love, love. Marty Mar Watch the way I start up I've been going hard But I can go way harder Every beat I'm on Yeah, you know that I slaughter And I'm always looking gorgeous Chilling with somebody daughter Yeah, she love me Say she love the way my chain Sit and cut the blade And of course it says my name If you want to win To let you know who's been a blow Always win and check the scope I'm only losing control Okay, so as you guys can see, I already went ahead and installed the new lifters. We did go ahead and torque these down. Uh, I looked at the manual, it said 14 foot pounds. So all these are torqued down to 14 foot pounds. Same as, same uh, same thing right here. Now we're, we're gonna go ahead and do is remove the, we're gonna go ahead and remove this part and we're gonna go ahead and install the HLA pressure regulator. <coughs> Yeah. Huh?
All right, so we went ahead and installed the Kigley Racing HLA pressure regulator and everything else is done. Now all we got to do is go ahead and put the sensor back on, put the valve cover back on, and do the whole timing. All right, so that's pretty much how you go ahead and install the lifters and an HLA oil pressure regulator on a 4G63. Now um, stay tuned for my next video. On my next videos I am going to go ahead and show you guys how to paint a valve cover. I am going to go ahead and paint it wrinkle red. I already have the spray can here. After that we're going to go ahead on and put everything else we need for the timing over here which is a cam, seals, we're still waiting for some other parts to come for the timing which is the uh, ATI dampener that I'm ordered. I should get it in next week. But besides that, we're all done with this part. I wish I would have had some cams so I could have just threw them in there already. Might as well, you know, but oh well. Next time. I'm going to have to go ahead and order those after. All right, everybody. So that's it for today's video. Go ahead and stay tuned for next video. We're going to go ahead and install everything else that we need. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.